Jesus died for somebody's sin, but not mine. The Sunset Strip. It's seen a good share of rock and roll over the years. But most recently, it is playing host to a new kind of music. A rock and roll which even the more ardent rock aficionados find distasteful. But there is a street following here. Because much of what we term accepted rock and roll is a product of the street, it is only fair that we begin here with the new wave in music. Ladies and gentlemen, from the garages of LA, the Jerks! I have with me Danny Wilde, the quick. Well, it's just people getting out their frustrations, I think, you know. Kids, they don't have to play anything to, uh, you know, they don't have to be, they can't, they don't have to play instruments to, uh, to uh, come out and do music, you know. Anything anti-industry is, is new wave or punk. Do you think this is kind of reflective of what was happening in the early 60s? with maybe the Stones or whatever, that type of activity? Or do you think it's even more violent and more direct than that? It's definitely more direct, and it's... I don't know if it's more violent. I mean, the Stones playing uh, mental hospitals and stuff like that and getting into it with the patients is pretty violent to, to me, you know. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it's pretty violent. We have a few friends for you to meet. Mercury recording artist Joan Jett of The Runaways. And we have with us tonight the Germs performing at the Whiskey. What are you guys going to do tonight? Same stuff we always do. And what is that specifically? It gets cut up a lot. New Wave promoter Rodney Bingenheimer. What kind of future do you see for punk rock? Well, it's going to last for a while. I mean, punk rock has always been here. When, when a truck driver went, stepped into a studio in Memphis and started cutting That's All Right Mama, Elvis <laughs> Presley, a lot of it would seem strange to your average music fan. Maybe somebody who likes Chicago, maybe somebody who likes Captain and Tennille, that sort of stuff. How would you explain punk rock to them? I would tell them to pick up some of the local punk rock fanzines, such as Slash, um, Raw Power, Backdoor Man, all those magazines that kids are now putting out themselves under their own expense. And they explain pretty much what is happening. Right. What kind of money is behind this stuff? Not very much. It's pretty much on the street situation. Right. Tell us, who do you think is on the horizon as far as new wave talent is concerned? Well, there's a group called Devo, I think, are going to be the next big thing. They're going to get a lot of the same crowd that would go after uh, Roxy Music. They've got people like David Boy interested in them and Iggy Pop. And a lot of big record companies are interested in them. How many people do you expect tonight, and how many people would you expect on, a, on an average night here at the Whiskey or any kind of club to see punk rock? Full house, medium house, or a sprinkling of people? Well, since this is um, a Wednesday night, middle of the week, there's school and people working tomorrow, probably be a, maybe a half a house. But the weekend's different. Oh, yes. Lines on the weekends. Has punk rock peaked, or do you think it's just beginning to crawl up? Just beginning to crawl up. You don't consider yourself a punker, or you don't consider your group a punk band. You consider it a new wave band. Well, a new, the new wave is like we're we're considered punk to the industry. And to the punks, we're considered, you know, industry. So new wave, I guess, would sort of be in between that, you know. How do you think some of the major rock talent looks at new wave? Bowie, for instance, maybe the Stones, maybe the Zeppelin. How do they think this kind of music is is going to affect them? Or do you think they really care? Oh, I think they care. Yeah, I think they care. I think they like it, you know. I mean, when you say the Stones and Bowie, you know, uh, Bowie's looking for uh, some punk bands I've heard, quote, uh, and, you know, Roger Daltrey has a safety pen in his nose, you know, so I don't know, uh, I mean, Barry Manilow and those guys, they could shit on it, you know, I don't think they care too much at all about, about that whole thing. What about the Sex Pistols? Are they responsible for what is happening here in America, or 
is the local action in L.A. really responsible for the, the rise in America? Well, I think the Sex Pistols had a lot to do with it because of the headlines they've been receiving when they first started out. And then with the radio show that I do, I'm always playing them and bands listen in and go, we're better than the Sex Pistols, so we're going to do it. Do you guys make any money doing this? Barely. How much for a gig tonight? For a gig tonight, here? Well, here we'd probably only be making about 150, 200. And we have to pay the roadies, and so we'd probably only be taking home a gross of about 75 and split that up. But between, you know, whoever's in the band. But you do have the, the exposure, which is important. Yeah, that's important. I asked Rodney Bingenheimer earlier, has the new wave peaked? Or do you think it's just beginning to uh, edge here in L.A.? Well, it's it's peaked to a point where the, the industry's starting to, like, you know, wonder about it because, uh, you know, I mean, it's even been getting some uh, airplay, you know, like the Sex Pistols, uh, uh, pretty vacant. It's been played on some local, uh, you know, uh, radio stations and stuff like that and Rodney's show. And so it's, it's like starting to, la you know, hitch on with the uh, with the industry so I don't know if it can go on from here and then then everyone will start their uh, anti-punk because that'll be industry and it'll you know take a shit on that so they'll just start all over again something else beat up nuns or something I don't know <laughs> how long do you think before the first major company goes behind a punk act with a lot of money a lot of promotion and says we've got something to sell here oh any day now tomorrow Sure, it's probably happening right now. And we don't even know about it. Oh, I think we know about it. I mean, Blondie, yeah. What, Chrysalis, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, it's happening. Not exactly wholesome, you might say. Rock and roll has always been a means of cultural expression. The new wave has given breach birth to a new rock devotee, the punk rocker. Okay, Tom Cats. It's real hot in this joint. I'd rather put a sword on myself. Okay, everybody, are you feeling all right or are you half pissed or half knackered or what? Jeez, fuck you, not in it. Right, we should be out boozing, shouldn't we? And pogoing. It's a Saturday night, isn't it? Yeah. 